This week's reading begins with the short book of Obadiah. The focus of this book is on the Edomites, a small group of people who helped the invading Babylonians conquer Jerusalem and pillaged the city once it was destroyed. The Edomites lived in a mountainous region where they believed they were safe from attack. But Obadiah prophesies the complete destruction of Edom as punishment for their role in Jerusalem's downfall. We see that God is the Lord of all nations, not only of Israel. The much longer book of Ezekiel is also focused on the crisis of the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem, but from a much different vantage point. The prophet Ezekiel was born into a priestly family in Jerusalem, but in early adulthood, his family was deported to Babylon, where he lived with other Hebrew exiles for the remainder of his life. His visions are strongly connected to the temple, since it was the tangible sign that God lived with his people. Ezekiel delivers his messages not only through spoken oracles, but also with dramatic public performances, such as breaking a hole in a wall to prophesy King Jehoiakim's attempted escape during the Babylonian siege. The book begins with a series of judgment oracles against Israel. Like the other prophets of this time, Ezekiel's prophecies warn of God's imminent judgment on his people because they have not turned away from their idolatry and injustice. When God abandons the temple and the destruction of Jerusalem takes place as promised, Ezekiel's oracles shift focus. Ezekiel speaks as if he is God's lawyer, defending God's justice and goodness in the midst of the destruction and exile of his beloved people. Reading through the prophetic books can be a bewildering and even disturbing experience. Ezekiel is no exception. From angels with multiple faces, to child sacrifice and mass murder, the imagery of Ezekiel is strange and often violent. How can we hear God's word through a book like this? First, we should never forget that we are separated from the world of the First Testament by thousands of years. The ancient world of the prophets was violent and brutal, full of competing gods and idols and tribes. The Bible presents God speaking into the world as it is, fallen and broken. He doesn't change everything at once. But the work of correction and restoration grows stronger as the story moves forward. Secondly, don't forget how each book connects to the bigger story of the Bible. The prophets tell God's story of judgment, and then the promise of glorious renewal and hope. The hard words of Ezekiel's opening prophecies will not be the last word.